How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to get WhatsApp on the iPad. And this is the real deal guys. This is the full experience official WhatsApp for the iPad. You're going to love this. You can do everything that you can do on your iPhone right here on a tablet. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you those features. I'm going to show this application in action. I'm going to give you an overview of WhatsApp for iPad. And then of course, I'm going to show you how you can download and set it up on your iPad. All right. So first things first, as you can see, it looks very familiar. Uh, so you have all your chats here on the left. On the right, you have the chat itself with everything, all the contents, all the media, and everything is completely playable, of course. So you can see images, uh, you can download images if you want to very easily. You can hit download. So then it's gonna go right here to your downloads uh, tab. So you can download it very, very easily. Of course, you can see any kind of documents that were sent to you. You can listen to audio messages. So if I tap here on the play button, you're going to listen to it, right? This is a little bit of a low audio volume, but don't worry. I'm going to uh, show you other examples in a few seconds. And of course, you can send anything that you want. So of course, you can type in anything like, uh, for example, this is a test and then you can hit send. Sorry, you can hit send here and it's going to send automatically as you would in your normal iPhone WhatsApp. You can also send audio messages so you can not only listen to them, but also send. So I can, if I tap here, I can hit allow and instantly it's going to start recording so I can keep talking and then it's going to pick it up. And of course, if I hit on send, it's going to send automatically as well as if I was using my iPhone. So if I tap here. So as you guys can see, perfect. Um, on top of that, uh, I can, of course, use emojis. I didn't show you before, but of course, you can just tap here uh, on your languages and you can use your emojis normally. So then nobody will ever know you're actually using an iPad. You can use the built-in emoji. So you can use those emojis as well. If you prefer to use it like that, no problem. It's up to you how you want to use it. And since we're here on the emoji tab, of course, you can also have access to your GIFs. So if you have some safe gifts or anything and even your stickers, um, as you can see, it's going to start loading. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but you're going to get all your sticker stickers that you have saved on your iPhone. So you can use them normally on your iPad as well. How cool is that? I just love this. Absolutely. Um, and of course, you can also send attachments. So if you tap here on the little uh, clipboard button, you can send any type of attachments. Like for example, you can send a contact from your contacts. You can easily, if I tap here again, uh, tap on a document. So you can pretty much ch choose whatever you want. You can take a photo if you want to. So you can, as you guys can see, it's just showing the back of my table. But if I flip, I can take a front photo as well, uh, very easily. And then if I want to, I can just take that photo, use the photo and then hit send. And then it's going to send automatically to my chat as if uh, I was using, again, my iPhone or something like that. Generally, it's going to send those files like uh, it's going to send them like documents because uh, we selected the document option. But if we select the camera, it's going to send as a photo. I'm going to show you. So again, documents, we also have the possibility to choose from my library. So it's going to take my photos so I can take on all my photos, choose this image and then hit done and then it's going to send it as well as a document. But of course, it can be uh, downloaded and, and it's playable and it's watchable for the other end. So for the person I'm sending, they can see it no problem. Um, of course, I can also tap here, hit on browse and then uh, take a look at my documents. So this is actually my files app. So I can take a look at all my documents that are saved on my iPad. Absolutely incredible because this can be so good for productivity. Uh, if I hit cancel here, now I can go to the camera and then it's going to take it straight from the camera. So then if I take the photo, then uh, hit send, then it's going to send it as a photo. So as I mentioned, uh, if you want to use photos, go to this one. If you want to use documents, go to this one. That's why those images were sent as document files. 
Uh, and of course here, last but not least, we can also, again, take a look at a photo library and things like that. So it's pretty much the same thing. So as you can see, you can get take advantage of absolutely every WhatsApp feature on your iPad. So text, audio messages, uh, stickers, emojis, uh, GIFs, uh, photos, documents, absolutely everything that you want right here on your iPad, not only to view, but also to send. And you can also take advantage of the other, the rest of the WhatsApp features like the status. So this is pretty much like Instagram stories if you use it. So you can watch people's uh, statuses and you can even create one and you can even uh, create a new chat or a new group very easily and even go to your settings. So then you can check your settings right here and do anything that you want, even check your profile and things like that. So as you can see, full WhatsApp experience on your iPad. And now you may be asking me, okay, Daniel, so how can I get it? Is it an application? Is it a website? What actually is it? Guys, this is just WhatsApp web. So this is just, this is the application we use to access WhatsApp on your computer, you can use it on your iPad as well. So that's why I said it was official, it was full experience, it was, uh, you can, you have all the privacy and all the security because we're actually accessing WhatsApp from their server, from WhatsApp web. So we are not using a third party app or anything like that. So a lot of people tend to actually go ahead, go to the app store and type WhatsApp and download one of those apps those are not official WhatsApp apps, okay? Those are third party. The, those are not made by WhatsApp and WhatsApp will never make a dedicated application for the iPad simply because the iPad is not a phone. So in order to access uh, WhatsApp, what WhatsApp does is actually uh, it treats the iPad as a computer. So that's why we're gonna have to access via the web, via WhatsApp web. WhatsApp sees the iPad and treats the iPad as a computer. So that's why this is the only way to get the official experience. If you don't know how to actually log in to WhatsApp web, I'm gonna show you right now and stick to the end because there's an awesome tip at the end of the video. Okay, so if you wanna set it up for the first time, it's very easy. All you have to do is open up Safari and you're gonna to go to this website, which is gonna be web.whatsapp.com. So again, the official WhatsApp website. So WhatsApp web, I'm gonna have the link in the description, on the screen and everything like that. And then it's gonna show you this screen. So choose WhatsApp web on your computer and then it shows you a QR code and then you have to read it. All you have to do is open up WhatsApp on your phone, on your iPhone probably. And then you're gonna go to the settings, okay? The last tab right here and then WhatsApp web as if you would normally uh, set up your computer WhatsApp web and then read the QR code is very fast. It's pretty much immediate. And as you guys can see, it loads instantly and perfectly. So now you have fully WhatsApp, the full experience on your iPad. And as I said, there's a little trick, a little tip at the end. Let me show you because you can actually create an icon. You can kind of create an app for this. All you have to do is tap on the share button and then uh, you're gonna actually go ahead and add to home screen and then WhatsApp. You can even rename it. I'm gonna just remove those three right here and then go ahead and hit on add. So then as you guys can see, add to my home screen WhatsApp with the icon and everything. So you get an awesome feeling that you actually have a WhatsApp app. So that's it guys, uh, that's pretty much it. All I wanted to show you how to get WhatsApp on your iPad, the full official application with all the features, with all the bells and whistles and everything you want, okay? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys on my next video in a few days. Bye-bye.